Okay, so today we're going to go over how I make my grain. So I got this beaver, uh, let's see, it's oats. I think it's like a horse feed. Very cheap. I think it was $12 for this 50 pound bag. So I have 10 cups here. And this is right around what I usually do for a batch. Uh, so you start out with your 10 cups and you give it a rinse. All right, so we're all rinsed off. Now I'm just gonna put a cover on this and let it sit on my counter for 10 hours. I'll see you after that. Okay, so now it's sat for anywhere from 10 to 24 hours is okay. And you can see a lot of the grains have filled up with moisture and sank down. So now I'm gonna turn it on high and let it boil, come to a, come to a steady boil. And I'll see you after that. All right, so now that the water is boiling, you can shut it off and you're gonna strain it out onto a pan and let it, let it cool down. All right. So now it's all strained out, and I'm letting it cool down and, and dry off a little bit. After that, I'll put it in mason jars and put it in the pressure, pressure cooker. And I'll show you how I do that in just a minute. Now that it's all cooled down, I'm going to go ahead and fill up these six mason jars. And I usually leave a few inches up at the top of the jar. So I'll check back in once they're all filled up and ready to go in the pressure cooker. All right, I got my mason jars all filled up. Now I'm gonna put a piece of tin foil over the top of each one just to keep any water out. And then load it up in the pressure cooker. I'll let you know when I get them all loaded in. As you can see, I have the lid flipped on this. It's all filled up. I do this just so when it's in the pressure cooker, it doesn't create a seal. The lid is also slight, it's not totally tight, it's just a little bit loose. Now I cover it up with tin foil to prevent any water getting in. And I load it in the pressure cooker with the other six that I've done. And it's ready to pressure cook. All pressure cookers are a little bit different, so definitely check the manual on yours. I'm going to bring it up to 15 PSI and then cook it for 90 minutes. Okay, so once you reach 15 PSI, you start your timer for 90 minutes. And then you just have to let it go. We'll check in after. And then after 90 minutes, you shut it off. Now I wait a few hours and let it cool down. This is what the jars look like. There's still a little bit of moisture. I usually let them sit overnight and then I, I inclinate them the next day. I've let these cool off for a few hours. Now I can take them out. I usually wait until I usually give them a good six hours until they are no longer warm. Okay, once your grain is cooled down, it's all ready to use. So, usually I squirt one cc worth of spore syringe into there. go through and do it to all six of them. All right, now that our spore syringe is empty and we have inoculated all of our grain jars, we're gonna let them sit. Usually it takes, I put them in a dark room uh, around 78 degrees in there, it ranges from 75 to 78 degrees, and it is dark. And I'll show you what they look like after about two weeks. After about I'd say three weeks, you should start seeing 
a good good amount of growth at that point after it takes over a side of the container you can take your jar break up all of the chunks now I'm gonna put that back to fully colonize and then it will be ready to move into your substrate your mono tub or whatever whatever grow method you're using